Hello everyone. This is Moses from Zatar Gardens. I love uh, dehydrating fruit from the garden, but I've never dehydrated uh, dapple dandy pluots or any pluot for that matter, or plums. I always thought there was too much liquid in them, but I did some research online and I guess people do uh, dehydrate plums or pluots. But I'm going to very carefully pull one off. That looks good. Just add it to the big amount. This is really heavy, by the way. Look at those dapple dandy pluots or dinosaur eggs. I'm gonna get a couple more. Ah, oh, Lulu. I'm gonna get a couple more. Look at this cluster right here. It's pretty good. Like I would think when I'm pulling them off, they'll be full of bugs or something in the, you know, like in here. But it's not. It's just a dead leaf. Well, that's fine with me. I'll just get that one that fell. Don't eat it, Lulu. She likes playing with these pluots. Look how many are falling. That's why I decided to do this. There's like at least 20 on the floor here. Where did it go? Nope. And here's some flavored grenades as well. But I'm not going to dehydrate these right now. Look at these gorgeous things. Flavor Grenade Pluot. Let me clean it up a bit, show you. These are delicious. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? The Flavor Grenade Pluot. And I'm loaded. Look at the color at the Dapple Dandy Pluot when you cut it open. Just gorgeous fruit. Amazing. Excuse any movie in the background, my boy's watching a movie. But isn't that beautiful color? Cutting them in wedges and just putting them onto the baking sheet to go into the oven at 225 degrees for about three hours. Here they are. Look at this one. I wish you could just eat that one right now. But I'm wondering how it's gonna taste like when it's dry. I'm gonna put it in the oven, like I said. Let's see how it goes. Okay, like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching, everyone.